everybody welcome back to jam farming cattle so today we are going to work my fall cows somewhere over there and we got 17 to run through the chute uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some pour on on for worms we got virus shield 6 And we got OcuGuard, which would be, it's kind of uh, for pink eye, I guess. Uh, helps them, protect them from getting pink eye, I should say. And then also, we're gonna be doing some preg checking with Bioprin. So, in my bag of goodies here. So what it is, is I've done a video in the past on it, but uh, here we go again. So, these are vacuum sealed tubes. Um, so once you poke a needle in there, it'll vacuum the blood into it. So you don't want to puncture it until you get in the cow's vein. So basically you got a double sided needle here. This side will go into your test tube and the long needle side will go into the cows. There's a vein right underneath the bottom of the cow. You screw the one side into the reader. And then you pop the tube into there like that. You leave it out. And then once you see blood coming through right here, and then you pop that tube in and it'll suck the blood out. You only need about like half. But sometimes it's really hard to either get any blood out, get the vein out. Uh, I mean, the vein's easy, there, but sometimes it's hard to hit. You kinda gotta pull the needle out a little bit, but you don't want it to come out because you'll ruin your test tube. But it seems like it's kind of a one shot and done. So like if you get a little bit of blood and you don't get no more, it's basically all you're gonna get is what it seems like. So, kind of a trial and error. We're gonna grab these cows, we're gonna run through the chute. Working solo today, so this ought to be interesting. Also, I'm gonna write down, when you do these test tubes, you gotta write down, so the animal ID would just be your tag number, how many days they've been bred, and then tube number one. So the only thing you gotta feel, fill out on here is it says uh, surname, first name, blah, blah, blah. But all you need to do is I put one for test tube one dash cow ID number. So say my cow is number 25, I put one dash 25. And then I write that down on here that test tube number one goes to cow 25. You wanna make sure you do not get it mixed up because then that's, you're gonna have false readings. You know, uh, say 25 is pregnant, but you put it down as 13 and 13 is not pregnant, you're gonna get it mixed up. So, you guys gotta try and make good notes the best you can. That's all you gotta do. Just fill it up part way. 
and then you pull the needle off. Or the, I got it marked 1-8, cow number 8. That's all. Then you dispose that needle and grab a new needle. I got them worked, got them all preg checked, went pretty good. Uh, I've screwed up on a couple tubes, or I guess the cow jerked it out of my hand so it lost vacuum, but that's gonna happen. At least, if you're like me, it's gonna happen. Um, but we got them all preg checked, so we're gonna send these results in. We'll know by, let's see, today is Tuesday, so we should probably send them out today. They'll have them tomorrow, so I'll probably know by Thursday or Friday if they're what, who's pregnant and whatnot. So that's kind of nice how it's a fast turnaround, but uh, whew. it's a lot more work working on working cattle on your own. Uh, it's not the best facility for one man operation. I always had to climb up and over that gate. So it'd be a lot handier if I had a, well either another guy or just even a little easy walk through gate there would make a big difference. but. But we got it done, so it's gonna load this medicine up, bring it back home, put it in the fridge, put the other stuff on the shelf, cause we're done for the year. We got all the cows worked, dad's cows are worked, my spring herd's worked and gone. These fall cows are now worked. Uh, we're gonna, whether these cows are pregnant or not, um, we're gonna bring them to pasture anyways. The cow market's way down, so we're not gonna get anything for them. And since I got enough pasture for them, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep them. So I think we're gonna haul 10 cows out tonight and maybe another three or so. Might haul 13 of them. The other ones I gotta go around and check fence on the last pasture, but we'll get that before the weekend more than likely. So I'm gonna get stuff cleaned up and then we'll get these cows loaded later.
She's in there, I mean. Hey guys, well, thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, we got quite a bit done, or I guess this week. Uh, we got all the cows worked, and we got them preg checked So, I got the samples. I'm gonna bring them up to the post office now and send them. They do not have to be refrigerated. They say that they can have, I think it's a four day grace period. So, in other words, a four day, you can keep those blood samples um, you can just keep those blood samples for four days unrefrigerated, just normal room temps, just try and keep them out of the heat. So I put them in the fridge last night just to keep them cool. So then now I'm gonna head to the post office today and I'm gonna go send them in the UPS mail or UPS ground, I guess. So anyways, on that note guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, be sure to check back in the next video cause we ran, I guess a little sneak peek. The new swather sitting back there. So be sure to check in next week on that. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.